Hey guys, welcome back. Today I have a Elizabeth Arden Purchase with Purchase to show you. It is their Bright Lights Big City Collection. And to qualify for it, I got this make this lipstick set. This is the Bold Kisses Lip Collection. Um, I am really excited to share this with you. I got this last week and I have been waiting <laughs> to film it to show you guys. I started filming it a couple days ago and got interrupted and you know how that is when you start filming and then you get interrupted, someone starts knocking on the door and you're like, ugh, I don't even feel like doing it anymore. So I had to wait a few days <laughs> until I felt like doing it again. Alright, so this is from Elizabeth Arden. Their Bright Lights Big City Collection costs $49.50 with any $34.50 purchase and it's a $401 value. To qualify for this, I got the Bold Kisses collection. This costs $35 and it retails at $96. And this has four full size lipsticks. So let's get into it. So all together I spent $49.50 for this, $35 for that. And then I had a coupon and I think I saved 15%. The code is Arden16. If you use code ARDEN16, you'll save 15%. So it made my total for everything $86.38, including tax and shipping. And uh, yeah, let's get into it and I'll show you. I got $500 worth of makeup and for $86.38. They were also running a free gift with purchase. I did not get that. I emailed the company and they are shipping that to me as well. So whenever that ships, I will show you that as well. Um, so yeah, I actually got a lot. A lot more stuff coming like seven more items coming so let me show you what I got we're gonna start with the bold kisses collection I love their packaging this is really pretty I ordered this online because there's not an Elizabeth and Elizabeth Arden counter near me I saw this online and I was like I want to try that I love lipsticks I love purses I love collections I love eyeshadows I love it all so I thought treat yourself so let's get into it Comes wrapped like this. Comes in a little gold bag like this. And it's very, very soft. Let's take it out. And we have four full size lipsticks. Come in really pretty gold packaging like this. Really heavy. I don't know if you can hear it click. I like that click. The first color is called 26 Ruby Rose. Very gorgeous color. I see myself wearing a lot of this. The next color is 20 Peony. Or as I say, Peony. It's a very, very spring pink. I see myself wearing that as well. Love that clicking sound. Next one is called 01 Rouge. This is a red that I do not see myself wearing a lot of, but I don't know. I'll play around with it. Maybe it'll grow on me. It is a blue based red, so I think it's a little more forgiving than some of the orangier reds. And the last lipstick in here is Melon 06, and I actually really like melon colors, especially in the spring and summer. All of these swatch very well, very opaquely, um, except for that peony color, but I do still like that a lot. And I see myself wearing three out of those four colors, so that is well worth the money for me, at least. And I got a little bag. Ever since I canceled Ipsy, I have been missing all my little bags, so I'm glad to have another one. <laughs> Alright, let's get into this. Bright Lights Big City. Reminds me of a line that Carrie says in one of the episodes of Sex in the City when she's teaching that course at the Annex. Isn't it called Bright Lights Big City? Maybe I'm wrong, but very rarely am I wrong when it comes to Sex in the City. Okay, so let's take it out of here. Comes with this big, beautiful bag or train case. Let's open it up. Take this out. And we got four more lipsticks. This is also in gold packaging, but it's different than this. This is light, lighter weight than these. These are thicker and heavier. And let's see, it has the same kind of clasp. No, those don't click like the other ones do. Kind of disappointing. Okay, 
This one is called Bold Red 41. I think that's more wearable than this one right here. So I'll probably wear this bold red one more than that other red one. And I probably still won't wear it a lot. This one is called Barry, Barely There 44. I like that one as well. Um, it is a little warm, so I don't know how it's going to look on me, but I'll be wearing it. This next one is called Pink Pucker 46. I really like that one. And the last one, I think it's a purpley color, it is called Iced Grape 36. And it's that one. Yes, so out of all those colors, this one and this one are probably the ones I'm going to wear the least. Everything else, I'm going to wear the H out of these because these are really pretty. They seem to have a really good formula. I haven't worn any of them yet, but I'm excited to try them because I love the bees. All right. Everything else came wrapped up like this. I'm just going to use a makeup remover and wipe this off so I don't get lipstick everywhere. Because these are not matte. These are a little glossy, glossy. So I'm using one of my Clinique makeup remover wipes. And I'm just going to wipe that all off. Took everything off. All right. Looks like I did get some new brushes, and I used to not be the biggest fan of getting makeup brushes because I'm like, I only use three brushes, but now that I have a set of brushes, I use them all constantly for different things, and I'm like, why was I so against makeup brushes before? So it looks like I got three new brushes. Let's take a look and see which ones I got. It says Elizabeth Arden, but it doesn't say type of brush. It looks like it's a blush brush. And it kind of, I don't like that it doesn't say what the brush is called, because what if I want to reorder it, I just have to guess what it is, or try to match up the picture to what the brush looks like. Next, it looks like I got two eyeshadow brushes, but it doesn't just say what kind. This one looks like it's an angled brush, an angled fluffy brush. And then this one looks like it's a flat fluffy brush. I don't know if that makes any sense. I'm trying to sound like a beauty guru. How do I sound? guru -y. My cat's scratching at the window. I don't know why she goes out there and she doesn't come inside. Because we let her outside the door. We don't let her outside the window. And then she just jumps on our air conditioning unit and just stays out there. And then she's mad at me because I don't open up the window and let her in. I can't open that window. It doesn't open. Anyways, she's cuckoo. Alright, the next thing I did get was All Gone Eye and Lip Makeup Remover. And it's in a little plastic bag. I'm not going to take this out right now. But that's what it's called. And it's a 1.7 ounce. It's a pretty good size makeup remover. Uh, I'm not going to take it out of its bag because I already have some makeup remover open and I don't want to open this and then have it leak somewhere. So I'm going to leave that like that. Next thing came in a little wrapper like this. Some sort of little palette. It looks just like that. Very pretty. Pretty, pretty. Pretty. What am I trying to say? Pretty packaging. And it says that it is two blushes and one highlighter. Now let's swipe these. Swipe. 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 Okay, so that highlighter, you can definitely see. The blushes are a little fair. You'd probably have to work them up. That highlighter, you can see that highlighter. Yeah, I can definitely see that highlighter. That is pretty, pretty highlighter. I did just order a Becca highlighter from Sephora. So, 
I'm gonna ha be very highlighty, but this is very, very pretty. I work for Clinique and Clinique doesn't have a, they have a highlighter stick, but I like the powder. That's pretty. Do you guys like my side, my side braid? I thought I'd do something a little bit different with my hair and I can only find one hair tie. So, I don't know. This way my, bra my hair looks thicker. If I had two braids, this would be half as thick and it'd be really, really not thick. All right, let's see. Got another palette. This one should be eyeshadow. And this is called Aid Elizabeth Arden Eyeshadows and it has all the colors. So if you wanted to rebuy each one individually, you can. Which is good because I've had palettes before that doesn't tell you the colors and they only make them for that palette. These are really pretty. I'm going to swatch this purple one because I know purple is sometimes a hard one to make a palette. Ooh. Yes, that is really pretty, and that was just one swipe of purple. I know sometimes purple is really hard. I'm going to swipe this pinky one, too. Yeah, I am really liking this. Let's do this brown shade. Yeah, I can get a lot of looks out of that. Those are my kind of colors, these cool berry colors. I really like these, especially that purple one. That is giving me life. No one talks like that. Okay. There's actually another one in here. Another palette. I think this is a warmer shade palette. And let's see. It tells you all the colors in here too. Those are also really pretty. I used to hate wearing browns and neutrals. And now I actually really like it. Let's try this one. Ooh. I really like that one. And let's try this really light, pretty, all-over lid color. Yeah, I really like that one, too. These are really nice. This is the first time I've ever tried Elizabeth Arden. And I am very, very pleased with my purchase. Alright, there's still more stuff in here. Let's see what this is. This would make a really good gift. If this is still available, you should gift this. Because this is really nice. And I got everything for less than $100. I mean... That's a lot of stuff for less than $100. By the way, this video is not sponsored. It's just, I love makeup and I wanted to share it with you guys. Alright, I got a full size mascara. I am not going to open this because I already have some mascaras open. And you know, the moment you open them, the moment they start drying out. So, I am going to leave this closed. If you want to look it up and see what it is. This is called the Elizabeth Arden New York Grand Entrance Mascara. I am not going to open it. That is what the packaging looks like. If you want to look it up and see what the bristles look like. The next, I got some liners. Let's see. It looks like I got two eyes and two lips. I don't use lip liners. Maybe I'll start since I have them. Okay, this is an eye pencil and this is purple. I have started using liquid eyeliner because I had never used eyeliner before. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to start using the pencil ones or not. I may gift those. But that's really pretty. I love the idea of a purple eyeliner. Let's see what the other eyeliner is. This one's called Java. Oh, this purple one was called Blackberry. Alright, this one is called Java. And that was just one little swipe. It gives you really good coverage. It's really good formula for it being a pencil. I prefer liquid. I did just order a liquid one from Kat Von D. So I'm probably going to give these pencils to one of my sisters or one of my friends. Alright, but the lip liners I'm curious about because I've never, I don't line my lips, but I guess I will start since I have to. This one is called um, Natural. Whoa, just a little bit of that goes a long way. Let me do, yeah. I don't have a, a liner pencil sharpener. I need to get one from the Dollar Tree. Alright, and then this one is called Bear. I'm going to put it right here. Yep. That's also really pretty. It's more of the brown side than that other one is. And then it looks like the last two things that I have in here are two lip glosses. And bam, those are some shimmery glosses. Let's see if they are actually gold and purple. Okay, let's do the purple one, which is called Intriguing Violet. I don't know if it ends up being this purple. I don't know if I'm going to be able to wear it. Alright, let's put it just 
right here. Alright, yeah, that's not as... I mean, it's still definitely still purple, but it's not as BAM in your face bright purple like it shows in here. And I could actually... Let's put this right over what I'm wearing and see if we can tell a difference. I don't know because I was already wearing lip gloss. I'm not even sure you can tell the difference. But And then this one is called Glamorous Gold. And let's put it right here by this other one. You can definitely tell the difference between the purple and the gold, but that is everything in the box. Overall, I am very happy with it. I don't know how often I'm going to use these lip glosses, but I will play around with them definitely, definitely in the springtime more than here in the wintertime, but that is everything. The only other thing in here is a booklet that tells you how to create some different looks for night and day using the different colors in here. Everything that was in here and then everything that was in here. Alright, so all together, I mean, that's a lot of stuff you're getting. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe. I will see you guys soon in another video. Bye, guys.